Hello and welcome back to the third mission of the uh, fourth mission of the Magic Duels campaign of Eldritch Moon. <coughs> Desperate for assistance, the Gatewatch attempted to contact Odric, the head of the town's council, but the town's people have devolved into a frenzied mob. Many have unexpectedly transformed into Eldrazi monsters. Audric tries to lead, but the lines between friend and foe have blurred. Amidst the chaos of battle, help arrives, bathed in violet light and leading an oncoming tide of undead. The necromants on Liliana this, so in short, shit's going down. Playing Liliana and Gideon, so a white and black deck. Uh, I kind of want to keep this as we got a one drop, a two drop, and a three drop, so it could definitely work out. And point is, we have removals because I have already played against Audric two times, or oh, against the mob two times. Um, they got angels, nasty angels. And I don't know if I like those. He has a one drop, okay. This is uncom uncomfortable. So we got Dark Salvation. We will be able to use this, but I think this time we'll use this later on. Maybe in turn 5, giving us two zombies. Um, and making more damage in the process. Ten with this one one, we don't want to block that. It's likely gonna play another creature now, but this is fine for me. Yeah, Lone Rider, first strike on the lifelink. Okay, this is not fine for me. You will totally obliterate my elite vanguard, it will kill off my Crow of Dark Tidings. And uh, no, thank you. Don't want to play a skill quest right now. Um, I think just to be safe, I'll just journey into nowhere that um, Lone Rider. Because it can mean quite a lot of trouble for me. This, this way we'll just get two damage in, which is uh, nice indeed. And Dark Salvation and Collective Effort also is a very nice uh, combination of cards because Dark Salvation give Ma and me tokens, and Collective Effort can buff those tokens up. I like. And also remove his big creatures. <laughs> so again, take with the 1-1. One, one. Okay for me as long as I can attack with my two two and I also get a flying creature quite soon. Okay, this is a which I don't wanna mess with because if it dies he gets a three two. And three twos are better than one ones. <laughs> you probably could tell by don't know thinking. But if it get exiled, it does not bring me three. So maybe we'll exile this creature. But first of all, I will get a crow of dark tidings because I have a flyer in that case, and having a flyer is nice. So let's see what. We so we just get got rid of two lands. So as soon as we get to, as long as we get to five mana, some. At some point, uh, it's fine for me because I don't think I need more than five mana with the with the with, the, with the this deck. Uh, okay, he's attacking with this one one, I think. Yeah. As expected, don't want to mess with him. Put 
only lose more than he would lose. And now he's dropping an extra cater of sin. This is a problem. This is a huge problem as he will likely sacrifice his 1 2, giving him a 3 2, and another 3 2. This is bad. This is very bad. Let's see, we can drop our planes. Oh, we have 5 mana. So we can... Play Dark Salvation for 5 mana and kill one of his 3 twos. This might just... Be enough... To overrun him with my zombies. Especially if they get plus one plus oh next turn. But for now I just swing in with my flying um, crow going in for two damage. Alright, alright, alright. So it seems to get four hand cards, but only is on is on only three mana. Huh. So it seems like it's also playing mono white. So either that or he has massive problems with the mana screwed. But he's not attacking now. Playing a 1-2, a 2-1. No, which is absolutely no problem for me. And another 1-1 one, one, which is also... Well, I don't care. Then ich bin kein Kerman. Ah, well... We can play a crow and a journey to nowhere. Let's do that. And excel his other 3 2 because, in that case, he will have absolutely nothing to deal with my zombies as they will be 3 3s next turn. So he has to jump lock. Um, and we will attack with a flying creature. And from next turn in, we will just start attacking with our pumped up zombie army. Which will be lots of fun. I'd say. We only have to worry about extricator of sins. It's going to be two card types in his grave here because as soon as he has four. Oops, he's a 3 5 with vigilance. Don't want to see this. Dropping his fourth land. Nothing too scary, really. Oops, what happened? Hello, game. Okay, place another extricate of sins. Fair enough. Probably gonna sacrifice one of his one ones and exchange it for a three two. Oh, this is good. This is very good, but let's hmm. bring a life linking creature. I think I just play collective. Um, and just be safe. Play this one first, and if he gets it's for um our creature, we still have collective effort as an answer. It's better to slowly munch on the HP of your opponent than overextend and get totally wrecked. I 
as I expect there's a shot of broken glass so this will help him to get his um, creature is cards into graveyard and um, with this activating delirium which would flip his extricators Swamp now. I think I just play Collective Effort now for plus one plus one counters on all creatures of mine. And then just attack. So one of his big scary angels just got discarded. And I'll attack with all. So we'll need to do a few nasty blocks in order to survive now. So it needs to block at least two creatures. And they lost everything but one 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 creature and I got even more than twenty life now. So this is so I can't really see how I could still lose this if he well could get his four three first strike lifelink flying angel. But except this there's no card in his deck which could save him. Which is good. I think. Okay, you can tap one of my creatures. Oh, he can. But that would not save him. Yep, go on. And now we'll attack and win this game. So this one has been the hardest so far. It was... I needed four tries to win this. But it worked out in the end. And gain me 40 coins as well. The Altuasi onslaught was fierce, and raves of ghouls fought their attacks. But Liliana's magic, bolstered by the power of the chain veil, raises yet more allies from the fallen. Gideon Jura finds himself fighting back to back with an unlikely but needed ally. The Eldrazi are driven back. Okie dokie. Um, continue. So, as always, thanks for joining me and see you next time.